Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now is a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, today's video is really a video for the absolute skincare junkie. Loads of you have been asking me to share my skincare collection, just the hordes, the stash, and then I pulled it all together. And I've never really sat down to video this because it's it's a bit embarrassing. Basically, I think I have a problem. I have, it's got worse since I started doing this channel and people have very kindly started sending me something. Companies have started send, sending me stuff, which is fantastic. I just don't think I can let go. I think I might be a skincare hoarder. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going through, I've organized it all. I'm gonna be going through all the skincare that I currently own. I'll tell you the good, the bad, because for some reason I do also hang on to really bad skincare, so I have no idea why. Um, but I'll be talking through the good, the bad, the downright ugly, because there's some real bad ones in here. I don't know why, and I am gonna throw some of this, this out, and I'm gonna make a list of the stuff I need to repurchase, because I'm running out of stuff. On a side note, have had a post-quarantine haircut, so I actually feel like a human being again, which is absolutely fantastic. I do just want to say thank you to all the love that people have showed to this channel um, in the past week. Our subscribers have gone up like a thousand in a week, and some of the videos have just gone mad, and it's absolutely overwhelming, and the love and is just out of this world. So thank you to everybody who has joined the channel, and for all the people that have been subscribed for months. I love every single one of you. Right, we're going to start, uh, well, we'll start with, let's start with the cleansers. So we have, oh, we have this. This is my absolute favourite cleanser. This is the uh, Evolve Organic Beauty Gentle Cleansing Melt. I love this. Absolutely fantastic. If you haven't checked out Evolve Beauty, check them out because all of it is responsibly sourced. They're cruelty free. They're vegan. They're, they donate money to charity. They're just one of those really good guys in the skincare world. And I absolutely love them. Definitely. This was the first ever cleanser I bought. I was bougie even as a 13 year old boy. And I love this. It's 24 pounds, I think, in the UK smells divine. If I'm not using some of the other cleansers, which we're going to come on to, this is my go to bed. This just sends me into a really nice deep sleep because it's so heavily scented and I love it. So definitely check Evolve Beauty out if you haven't already. We're one of 800 down. Um, we also have the Square Lane Cleanser by The Ordinary. This is just a bog standard basic four pound cleanser. I keep this because I like to do my facial massage with it. This is probably the best in terms of facial massage you're going to get. And I absolutely love it. I've done loads of videos. I'll link one that I did on The Ordinary up there. I just think it's got a slip, it's got a slide, it turns into an oil, you add water, it turns into a milky consistency and washes away. There's no trace to it. This is like my go-to. I keep going back to this. I love this. Squareling Cleanser, fantastic. We have, oh, the Oat Cleansing Balm by The Inky List. Oh, I love The Inky List and I love, love, love this Oat Cleansing Balm. Cruelty-free, fragrance-free, um, colorant-free, everything you want in a cleanser. It goes up as an oil and it does, sort of turns into an oil um, and then it emulsifies the same way as the Square Lane Cleanser does, but this is so hydrating. If you have sensitive skin, dry skin, whatever, get your hands on this because this will be life-saving. You can also apply it as a really thick layer as a mask for 15 minutes and it's just hydrating. Oat calms inflammation and redness. I love this. It's really hot here in the UK today. Like literally, I am, I was going to say sweating, but I, th I prefer the term glowing, but it's warm. So um, it does turn really quite liquidy. So I think this is probably one to keep in your skincare fridge if you're boozy enough to have one. And I know some of you out there do, or in the actual fridge, which I'm going to keep this, move this to my kitchen fridge because it's got quite liquidy. Um, also good for a facial massage. Um, this, oh, I don't know why, I I, why do I still have this? This is the Garnier Micellar Water. I I keep thinking I'll use it up. I just need to throw it because I'm going to put this in the throw pile because I keep thinking I'm going to use it up and I never do because the bioderm is just better. I, lo I do like this. If you can't push to bioderma prices, this is actually a really good option. It's not too expensive. It's like three pounds for this size, which is really convenient to put in your bag if you want to do like a midday like wipe over. But the bigger size is like five pounds, eight dollars. It's really, it is really good. It's just not as good as bioderma. The bioderma. Oh, I love this product, I love this product. I still haven't been able to get my hands on a replacement because I like the small size. They've got the big size, which I might just have to buy. Um, but I like the small size because it's good for the gym kit, it's really good for putting in your purse, for that midday cleanse, I love this. Bioderma Micellar Water is the original and the best. Why bother with anything else? Because who knows, this ding, 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 beautiful product. I really like it and it's not got fragrance in either, so it's suitable for all skin types. 
definitely check this out, but only the red one. Don't buy this, do a green one and a blue one and neither of them are very good. Absolute crap, actually. I won't bother. Red one, original, fantastic. This is the Micell Air. Why have I still got this? I have no idea. This is the Nivea Micell Air Skin Breathing Micellar Water. Claims to not leave one trace on your skin. Absolute tosh. It leaves a really thick film. It doesn't get off half of the SPF, debris, dirt, pollutants that the bioderma does, and it's absolutely rubbish. It is £1.29 here for this size in the UK, so it's dirt cheap, and it's better than nothing, but I just didn't like it. I bought this because I did a battle of the micellar waters, which I'll link up there. Um, it's not fragrance. It's just not, it's just not very good. I just didn't like it. Why have I kept this? I keep thinking I'm going to give it away to someone, but is it, I don't know, leave me a comment. Is it really rude to give away a crap product? I think it is. I think I just need to throw this. That's kind of, oh, cleansers. We are done. I'm going to throw, I, I'm just going to throw that, Nivea. There's no need for it. Now exfoliating acids. I have, oh, I've just put on order. If you live in the UK and you go onto pixie.com or whatever their website is, the glow tonic they do in the super size like with a pump which is really convenient if you want to pump it directly onto a cotton pad they do that and it's 25 percent off at the moment so if you like the pixie glow tonic go to pixie because they have a really good sale on at the moment this is the glow tonic this one's empty because i've actually and i've kept this because i like the bottle and i think it looks nice on the uh, <laughs> on the bookcase behind but i have got the bigger size on order and i'm going to use it and abuse it and it's absolutely fantastic i like to the bigger size because you do like to get your cotton pad really drenched with this to get the maximum effect but i love of this it's full of humectants it's full of calming agents and it exfoliates really well without drying the skin out i love it um i got sent you'll see this appear quite a few times because the boots which is the pharmacy big drugstore here in the uk i love boots um they just sell everything they, they do like luxury high-end makeup and skincare and they do down and dirty drugstore pricing which i absolutely love this is definitely down and dirty this is their glycolic their own brand glycolic acid as you can see it's actually gone I um, sent them, they sent me this to try, which is so kind, so thank you very much, Boots, and I loved it. I wrote back, because I do think if you get self stuff in PR, you should give feedback. A, you should always thank people, I think, for sending you stuff. But I wrote back and I said, thank you very much. Absolutely love this. I really love the style of silic that I'm coming on to in a minute. Didn't really like the vitamin C. I just thought it was a bit greasy. And they said, thank you so much for your feedback. I said, I loved it so much. I have run out of it and I'm going to reorder it. And they said, don't worry, we'll send you another, which is super kind. So I've got another one on the way to me for this. This is a fantastic travel size glycolic acid. Fragrance free, vegan, cruelty free. Ding, ding, ding. All you want in glycolic acid. If you like... I'd say if you like cheap, cheerful, but actually just works and you live in the UK because it is only available in the UK, try the Boots Ingredients Glycolic Acid. You won't look back. I love that. What have we got here? Oh, we'll, we'll do the Boots Salicylic. This is their Salicylic Acid version. I love this. Let me show you on there. It goes on literally like water. So if you want a salicylic acid that just goes into the skin, no ifs, no buts, no fuss, this is the one. This is four pounds in the UK. You don't get a lot, but you don't need a lot of product. So it's four pounds here in the UK, only available in the UK. So I'm sorry to anyone internationally, but I love, 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 love this product. It's like holy grail. I love this. Um, the Nip and Fab. How much is that? I think this is gone. I think this is almost gone. I'm not repurchasing this. This is a Nip and Fab Purify Salicylic Fix Concentrate. Great brand. I love Nip and Fab. They do some fantastic stuff. They're natural. Um, their active ingredients are fantastic. My issue with this is it's so heavily fragranced and coloured. I just think it's going to be a little bit too much for anyone's skin. And when you've got the, like, the Boots ingredients for £4, uh, it, which is, does the same thing, but doesn't have the colour and the fragrance in, I, I can't justify this. But it is a really good price point, And I think it's about, I think it's about £9 here in the UK. So about $10, $11, $12 in the US. Really good price point. Really good product. I just don't want that much colour and fragrance in my life, particularly in an exfoliating acid. So I'm not repurchasing, but I will use it to the last drop because I love it. Um, oh, what is this? This is the um, AHA 30 BHA 2% peeling solution. It was turned around. I didn't know what it was then. This. Holy grail, love this. I found out I've been slagging this off for being too heavily coloured and I should have done my research, so I take it all back. This red blood-stained colour that you get with this is actually the pepperberry extract, which is naturally red. It doesn't have artificial colourants in here, so I take it back and I apologise profusely to the ordinary. It doesn't have added colourants in I just thought anything that is that, you know, red must have colourants in. Apparently not, so I do apologise and that's my fault. should have done more research. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is a once-a-week like exfoliating overload it just strips back all of the 
crap that has gone from the week before. You can start anew with fresh, gorgeous, glowing skin. I do this on a Sunday evening, every Sunday evening, and my skin loves me. My skin starts the Monday morning looking fantastic. I love this product. Absolutely fantastic. I haven't actually got with me because I have given them to a friend to try who's struggling with a little bit of breakout and maybe a little bit of start of rosacea, mandelic and um, azelaic acid from The Ordinary, which come in tubes like this. I um, haven't got it. It is in my collection. I love them and swear by them, but my friend's got them. Um, she's trying them out at the moment, so we'll see what she thinks of them. But they're usually in my collection. They come to exfoliating acids. We are cooking on gas. There's still a lot to go. Toners. I use the Pixie Glow Tonic or the Boots Ingredients Glycolic Toner on the daily, but if I want to mix it up a little bit, I would use this. This is the Collagen Tonic. Collagen Tonic is basically a toner. This is super hydrating. If I'm having a bit of a dry skin day and I think it's a bit too dry to try a glycolic acid or I need a day off from a glycolic acid, this is gorgeous. I love this. It isn't going to promote collagen. Who are we kidding? It doesn't have, does it, even have it doesn't have collagen in. It is a little bit overly fragrant, so do be careful, but I love it. I'll link a video that I did reviewing this. I love it. The fragrance is divine. It hydrates. It gives you that like godly hydration. I love this. Definitely, definitely would recommend. Um, unless you've got sensitive skin and you're sensitive to fragrance, but you might want to give this a miss. But for everyone else, this is gorgeous as a moisturizing toner. Just sort of sets and preps the skin for the rest of your skincare. Get this if you haven't already. I love it, love it, love it. I don't love it, sister. The milk. Why have I still got this? I, this is this is it. This is. I need to speak to a therapist and say why do I cling on to bad skincare? There's probably something in my past that makes me cling on to bad skincare. This is the Milky Tonic by Pixie. I love Pixie. I do not love this product. It smells like a maiden ants. Yeah, it smells like a maiden ants draw liner. Not good. Nobody wants this. It's sort of like a mix of what even is in here. It is sort of like oh, it's got jojoba. It's got chamomile which smells a bit overly synthetic it's just full of synthetic fragrance and i just really don't like it i don't think you need it it says it soothes and it doesn't it doesn't do anything it goes on it stinks you never get rid of it and why am i clinging on to it? i don't know that's going in the bin we're getting rid of that there's no need for that toners out of the way we have got oh my god i really have so much skin <laughs> Now, we're going to whiz through, these are the serums that I think serums are the most important step in your skincare routine. This is my Holy Grail Antioxidant. This is the CN Q10 Intensive Serum. It's only available in the UK and it's available at, I get confused between Lidl and Aldi. This one's Lidl. Um, this is a new bottle. I've literally just got it. I love this. It smells lightly fragranced, but it's a Q10 overload. Q10 energizes the cells to regenerate and stay healthy, which is fantastic. And it's a powerful antioxidant. And this is £1.29. So get yourself down to Lidl if you live in the UK and buy this. £1.29. Why would you try any other antioxidant? I love it. Um, we have the... Oh, this is the Ordinary EUK. Oh, no, it's not. That one's the Ordinary EUK 134. Um, this is another antioxidant I love. I did a video on antioxidants, which I'll link up there. Really, really good antioxidant, this one. I absolutely love it. Re yeah, just fantastic. Um, now we're going on to what we've we got. These are just other serums I use. Obviously, the Agiraline solution. Agiraline, Agiraline, however you want to say it. This is like the Botox in a bottle. I've also done a video. Have I done a video on everything? I must have been around too long on YouTube. There is a video I'll do of that. This is the Giraline Solution 10%. This is like Botox in a bottle, they call it. Basically, it helps to prevent the formation of dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. We're talking laughter lines. We're talking the um, indents that you get on the forehead. You get like the um, um, nasolabial folds, which are these ones around here. This is just fantastic. I love this. Just make sure it's the first thing you put on after your um, exfoliation or your toner because it has to be in really close contact with the skin. This is the Baja Basics Collagen Boosting Facial Serum. Oh, I love this. It smells divine. It's a mixture of peptide oils and it just smells so heavenly. I love this. They kindly sent this to me and honestly, I just love their skincare. I think it's fantastic. If you're in the US, they do ship to the UK, but if you're in the US, because shipping can be quite expensive, if you're in the US, check this brand out, Baja Basics, their collagen boosting serum. If you're having that dry skin day, you maybe caught the sun a little bit. It's been super, as you can see, it's literally like melting here in the UK and it can be quite um, drying in the sun. This will just give you that peptide boost and peptides will trigger the production of collagen. Gorgeous. Love this. What have we got here? This is the niacinamide, 10% zinc, 1%. 
I'm switching to the Paula's Choice niacinamide. Um, I have got a sample of that and I loved it and I'm repurchasing it in the full size. It's on its order to me. I love, love, love niacinamide. It's great for someone like me who is super oily and it just helps calm the oil production in the skin. The added zinc is lovely. I've been using this for years. I'm going to mix it up and try the Paula's Choice. So I'm not repurchasing this, but there is a tiny bit left and I will use this up. But the Ordinary Niacinamide is a gorgeous product. I love that. Um, we've got here Hyaluronic Acid by The Inky List. I controversially, I'm not going to repurchase this. I love this. This is what got me into Hyaluronic Acid. I think it's absolutely fantastic. But I've also got the Neod um, Hyaluronic, Multi-Molecular Hyaluronic Complex, which I just prefer. It's £40, whereas this is £5. So it's not exactly the same price point. And oh, just as a side note, I apologise if the sun's coming in and out. It's super hot here in the UK. And I've just got a reprieve by going behind the clouds. So sorry if there's like a little bit of light dis disturbance in this but I've got a lot of skincare to go through I can't pause every time there's a cloud um this is how the rank I'm not going to repurchase it because I will be continuing with the neod but really really good this is the caffeine solution lifesaver this just dabbed under the eye it gets rid of the dark circles and discoloration I'm nearly running out so I might actually have to repurchase some of that but this is and it goes on literally sinks into the skin vegan um unscented and cruelty free so ding 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 love this this is the caffeine solution five percent i adore this we're nearly there we're not nearly we're not nearly there <laughs> Now vitamin C's. So uh, vitamin C's I seem to have a specific problem with. I just can't get rid of the ones that don't work for me. I keep switching it up and I just need to not. I just need to chuck vitamin C's out and stick with one, which is this. This is my go-to. This is the 100% ascorbic acid powder. Fragrance-free, um, colorant-free, anhydrous, so it doesn't degrade. Super powerful. I love, love, love this product. This is my go-to vitamin C. Everything else can just do one, and I'm going to throw. That's my commitment to you guys. I'm going to throw. This is fantastic, and I love it. Um, the other vitamin Cs I have in my collection, I've got the vitamin C tonic by Pixie. As you can see, I haven't even used this, and I bought it like months ago. Just smells like really fake lemon. Like, you know, those citronella candles you burn. You got a mosquito problem when you burn one of those citronella candles. Your whole barbecue just stinks of citronella. It's what this smells of. It's not particularly powerful. It's probably good for someone that wants to get into vitamin C, but it's a bit gimmicky. It's not that powerful. I just don't like it. So that can go in the bin. Um, the vitamin C suspension 23% by the ordinary. This is just quite painful when you put it on. It tingles and it burns and i just don't like it that much i don't think it's buffered enough to actually be able to get um to really get the benefit from it now if you checked out my video on um naturium which is a new line by susan yarrow she does a 23 percent vitamin c which i have now tried and that is encapsulated and does um actually doesn't burn like this and you do get quite a good brightening from it obviously you know the drama that goes on with that, but I'm not talking about that in the video. That's over. But that is actually the same strength, but totally different in terms of the way it's formulated. This I just find too irritating and I'm going to get rid of because I'd rather just mix the powder to the strength that I like and my skin can tolerate. This is just a little bit too strong for me. Um, the Boots Vitamin C, I talked about this already. This, not great. Um, very oily. It's a good strength vitamin C and it's fine as a consistency, but if you can see... A, the pump just spurts everywhere and it just goes on. It doesn't really sink in. It leaves that oily slick on your skin. Unscented, cruelty-free, vegan. So that's all great. I just don't like the consistency on my skin. That needs to go. Vitamin C by t -Mai. I don't like this company, actually. I kind of... They were, they were fine. Um, I have... I, I don't want to... Do I want... To, yes, I'm just going to be honest. Joe, you know honesty, what... We've learned in the last couple of days and a couple of weeks is you just have to have your integrity and your honesty. I partners, I worked with this company, not partnered with. They sent me a load of product and said, will you try it out? And I'd give you a code if you want to use it. I loved their jade roller. Their jade roller was fantastic. Um, and I shared the code. You got a little bit of commission from the code, which I donated to charity. But I just didn't really like the way the company kind of interacted with me. It was very difficult. They were very challenging. In a, It just wasn't a particularly nice experience which is a shame because some of their products are really good this is not one of them this is their hibiscus tea and vitamin c antioxidant vitamin c powder serum it's just super 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 over sensory overload i don't like the smell it didn't tingle so i don't think it's doing a right lot and i just i'm not a huge fan of the brand i don't think about them too much too much because they were very kind to send that to me so i'm not going to state it too much but i just didn't have the most positive interaction with the brand 
Um, this is the ascorbic acid 8%, alpha arbutin 2%. Now, I've been saying to people that want to combine a vitamin C, a low strength vitamin C with alpha arbutin, which is a fantastic skin brightener, this is the one to go for, and it is. So I'm going to keep this one, but I just prefer the powder. This is pre-mixed, so if you want to go on holiday and you don't want to be faffing around with powders and taking multiple products, this is actually really good because it's two in one. So I'm going to keep it just for holidays and stuff, but day to day, I use the powder, not that. Now we are moving, oh, retinol. I feel like the end is in sight. We're doing retinols. What have we got here? Pixie Retinol Tonic, not repurchasing. I really like this and a, I did a review on it, which I'll link up there. I like this. I think it's a really good product, but it's very beginner retinol, not very strong and it is scented, which does put me off because it's quite lavender it, which is a bit much for me. Oh no, rosemary. This one, right there. Rosemary, too much for me. I just don't like it. I don't like that overly fragranced combination. But so I'm not repurchasing, really but it is a good product if you want to get into retinol. <sighs> the Drunk Elephant A Passioni Retinol Cream. In one of my last videos, I said I was kind of over Drunk Elephant. I think some of their recent launches are a bit gimmicky. Not a huge fan. Um, but this is the one that I do keep going back to. It's a very strong retinol and it isn't my current go-to, but I've got a little bit left and I'm going to keep it and use it. And I will, I'm not repurchasing now, but I will in the future probably repurchase the Inculus Retinol. This one's nearly out and I wish they did this in a bigger size so I didn't have to keep, I've ordered three. I love this that much. This is a fantastic, I'm on different at the moment, which is prescription strength retinol because I'm a little bit overly oily because it's so hot here in the UK, but I use different for probably 12 weeks and then I'll move back onto this. I love this. This retinol is life itself. Um, definitely try it out if you haven't already. Can you see the teeth marks? The dog has had a good old chew at that. So that's classy, but I'm going to use it up and I've got three on order because they're always sold out. So if you find it, grab it, use it. Gorgeous Miss Strength Retinol. Now, we are on to, what are we doing? Oh, this is moisturizers. Oh, Cicaplast Balm. If anyone ever questioned how much I love the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm, I have two right here. Um, I You can never have enough of this. They do one with an SPF, which is really good. Um, it's an SPF 50, which is fantastic. Cicaplast Balm is my go-to. I bored you all endlessly with this. I love, it's also been mauled by the dog. Like literally, if you've got a puppy, nothing is sacred. I love this. Um, it's got panthenol in, so it calms, it soothes, it's peptide powerhouse, so it's gonna help with the collagen production, but it's just gonna repair the barrier function of the skin. I love this. Definitely, definitely, everybody needs a Cicaplast Balm in their life. It's five pounds here in the UK. I think it's eight dollars in the US. Get it, put it in your purse. Even if you just use it as a hand cream, it will change your life. I love that product. I've got like another two downstairs somewhere. I keep buying them because I worry that I'm going to run out. Um, and then we've got this, which is the Rose Water Face Mist by Baja Basics. That's the one that did the collagen booster serum that I raved about. I love this. This is like calming, cooling, spritz. Gorgeous. They sent this to me and I don't really like rose scented things up that much, but this is so natural. It's like an English rose garden. I love it. It's refreshing. It's hydrating. It's everything you want in a mist. So if you want a mist, get this one because actually what you should be looking for in a rose water mist is 100% rose water. People keep get buying synthetic stuff. It's just not good for your skin. 100% rose water. I love, what's this? Effaclar Matte. Oh, this is another La Roche-Posay. This is the Effaclar Matte, which is totally matte. It's just not as good as the Cicaplast Balm. So I don't know why I have this. Why do I keep this? I think there's a little bit left. I, I'm just going to throw this. I think I've had it way past the expiration date anyway. I wouldn't recommend. I love the Effaclar line. Their range is fantastic. Just this one, I think, is too mattifying and doesn't give you the hydration you want. So don't bother with it. Um, this is the CN Q10 Anti Wrinkle Night Cream. So... This is the sister, I don't know where is it, of this. This is the day serum. This is the night cream. I love this. It smells lovely. It's very rich. So I think it's a little bit rich for me. I'm probably going to give this away. It was like two pounds. So it's not really like a generous gift. But I think I'm going to give this away to someone who has drier skin. Because it's hyaluronic acid. It's um, antioxidant. And it's very occlusive. So it's very thick. Very moisturizing. Great as a night cream. But for someone who has really, really oily skin like me, it's probably a bit too much. Um, we have the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I also did a video on that. I'm not going to link it because I've linked everything going. I did a video on this. Um, this is only my skincare arsenal because I use it on my chicken's wattles and combs. Um, if they get a little bit, if we have a lot of sun or we have a lot of frost and it can get a bit, um, they can get a bit dry. Also great for your dog's pads if they get a little bit dry. My dog loves running on the beach and sometimes his pads can get a little bit dry. This overnight hydrates it. That is the only time I use this. It's just way too occlusive for my skin, but it's really good for animals, um, which you're not here for, but I'm sharing anyway. And SPFs, oh, 
doing all these in one. These are all tosh. I don't know why I'm bothering with them. The Ideal Soleil uh, by Vichy, it claims to be totally a body... It's a body... What is it? Yeah, it's a body um, SPF that claims to be invisible. It's not. It's oily, oily, oily. It stains your clothes and it's horrible. And I think it's probably out of date now, so that is going. This is the Institute Estoderm No Sun. Now, anyone who is a fan of Cyril Laurent on YouTube, he's a YouTube influencer. He's got, I think he's got like 15,000 subscribers now. Doing really well for himself. I'll link his channel below. He went to town on Institute Estoderm and said how bad they were, that they promote um, No Sun and they don't put SPF on things. And Basically, you have to watch his video on why they hate it. I thoroughly disagreed with him on this product because I actually think this is fantastic. This is basically 100% mineral minerals in a sunscreen. This blocks out every ray going. So if you've got pigmentation or dark spots, which I have like a little bit here, this is my go-to. I just dab it on in the morning. It just stops the sun getting to those areas. It's great if you had any procedure done or a scar that you want to keep out of the sun or a tattoo that you need to protect from the sun. I'm not a big fan of tattoos on me personally, so I don't have any, but I know people do have them. This is really good as a cover-up to protect them. He slated this, but I really like it, so I'm keeping it. It's like 50 pounds here in the UK, but it does last about a year, so that's all good. The Purito Comfy Water Sunblock. Oh, ding, ding, ding. This is my go-to SPF at the moment. I love this. I waited four months to get my hands on this, and it didn't disappoint. I loved it, I raved about it. If you haven't tried it, get it a lot of people recommend the super goop um, no not unseen sunscreen um which is the chemical very similar but chemical this is the mineral version similar thing to it don't know you're wearing it protects you from the sun it's lightweight it's gorgeous it's hydrating everything about this is right and i love it so definitely get your hands on that if you haven't the ordinary mineral uv filters tosh why do i have got this? why have i still got this I don't know. I just can't bear to throw things out. It leaves so ashy. It's ashy on me, so Lord knows how, what it would look like on darker skin tones. Super ashy. It never really sinks in. You sweat like there's no tomorrow when you're wearing it because it just is so occlusive. I don't like it. And this is the in, in Transit Skin Defense. I finally used the last pump yesterday of this. I got it as a Christmas present. I loved it. I still do love it, but I'm bored of it, and it's been going on forever. And I used the last pump of it this morning. Uh, no, yesterday morning. Um, it's a good SPF. Can't get the lid back on it now. It's a good SPF. I just got bored of it and I prefer the Purito Comfy Water. But if you want a good mineral SP, um, chemical SPF, the In Transit Skin Defense by This Works is really good. Oh, getting a bit overly enthusiastic with the hand gestures. We are nearly there. What have we got left? Masks. Not a huge masker. Um, so I don't have that many masks in stock. I use them for our face mask Fridays, every Friday at 6 p.m. UK time. Join me for a live stream, slap on a mask, and let's chat. This one is the simple Detox and Brighten Clay Mask. I love this. This, I didn't like a lot from this line. This is a simple Detox and Brighten line. Not a huge fan of it. I think some of the products were great. Some of them were not so great. This is a standout product. It is so, so mattifying. For someone like me that is just oily and greasy and just it's so much more so now it's hot in the UK. This is a lifesaver. I use this twice a week and it just removes all of that excess dirt, debris and sebum from the skin. I love it. This is the Nip Fab. I always have about 10 of these in stock. Like Nip Fab are the only company that, like I've been sent so much stuff, which is fantastic. Nip, Nip Fab haven't sent me anything. I wish because I love these masks. It saved me so much money. Um, so Nip Fab, if you're watching, I love these masks. Hint, hint. Um, I, this is the Vitamin C sick Fix Face Mask. Uh, sheet Mask. This is my go-to sheet mask. I love everything about it. I've got about five or six in stock at any given time, and I love it. Um, this one, what is this? This is the L'Oreal, the green one. I don't like this. I don't know why this is here. I'm not even going to talk about that. I don't like it. Um, oh, oils. Facial oils. So a lot of people say, do I use a facial oil? I try not to because it is a little bit too much for my super oily skin. But I was sent by Itaz. Where is, oh. um, Itaz, Itaz, London, which do this. It's just 10 natural oils all blended together. This is meant for the body and for the hair. It is divine. I have never known anything smell this good. So if you check out Itaz, I would fully recommend that. They sent this to me. They reached out and said, can we send you something to try? Absolutely. Way, way, way too thick for my skin on the face. But I use this out of the shower. Best use damp. Put it on the skin. Oh, it's hydration overload. I adore this. It smells just like 
the bougiest spa you've ever been to. And it's really not that badly priced. Um, so check it. The ship internationally, definitely check it out. Send me this gorgeous note as well. I love it when people send you products and they put in such a lovely note. So thank you for, to the team of ITAS, it has. Um, they just sent me this gorgeous little note and best results used on damp skin, which I th- actually fully agree with. I think it works better on slightly damp hair, but definitely on damp skin. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Um, we have some of Baja Basics here. We have the Rose Hip Oil, we have the Prickly Pear Oil, and we have the Jojoba Oil. These are too occlusive for my skin. I'm giving these away because um, I want to get the feedback. These were sent to me, but they're just too much for my skin, um, but they are beautiful. Prickly Pear is a fantastic peptide powerhouse. It's got vitamin K in as well. I did a video saying how amazing vitamin K was for healing scars and wounds. This has vitamin K in, which is gorgeous. So a really good option. Um, a subscriber, Tatiana, a subscriber um, of this channel, um, actually recommended the Prickly Pear Oil as a source of vitamin K, which is a fantastic recommendation. This one has it in abundance. So check Baja Basics out if you haven't. They're gorgeous. And then finally, we've got these. Now, in the UK, we have a, I've spoken about them before, a slightly dowdy, slightly not that fashionable department store called Marks and Spencers, but they're skincare is to die for and this is their body butter it's three pounds for a really good sized tub and it just smells like honey and it's like a honey overload and it's so hydrating this is a gorgeous body butter i use this on my hands but i absolutely love it all the marks spencer's own brand skincare is cruelty free and i just think we should be celebrating that i think that's really really good that they've gone down that route and i love that it's 100 percent recyclable packaging and 100 percent plant-based ingredients so who doesn't love that i love this product Finally, we've got lips. And I don't know why I have lips. I've got these Burt Bees. I think these I got these in a Christmas stocking or something. Burt Bees lip balms. They can go in the bin. I don't like them. Um, we've got Elizabeth Arden lip balm. Don't like that either. Oh, but this. The Sica Pass Plus Leverer. Now, this is going to be quite warm, so it's probably going to have gone quite oil, um, liquidy. But this is the Sica Pass Balm, but in a slightly more occlusive lip formulation. This is gorgeous. If you suffer with dry lips... Just get this. Don't question anything. Just buy this. It is that good. And it's like £4.50 here in the UK. Definitely, definitely worth it. I have, finally, we are, we are coming to the Prismology. This is like an aromatherapy oil. It's gorgeous. It's like a balm oil. I got this at TK Maxx, which I think is called something else in the UK, in the US. Leave me a comment below with what it's called. I think it's like TM Max or something. I don't know why they changed the name. Same company. Um, it was £75. I got it for £20. It is an aromatherapy dream it smells divine it does really just send to you if you're into your essential oils and your fragrances you'll love this i put this on before i go to bed it hydrates because it's quite a bit thick oil and it also smells divine and then finally oh wait got this tish hanley reached out to me and said would i try some of their products and do a little cheeky review on them absolutely i said no problems providing i don't have to give good there's no conditions attached send me something and i'll review it so this is the tish hanley set and oh their stuff they sent me the whole set which is gorgeous i can't wait to try that i haven't had a chance to try it which is really bad because i've had it like a month but i am going to get around to trying it because a lot of people do ask about male skincare i think most skincare is universal i don't think we have male and female skincare specifically but for men that like a bit more of a masculine scent or actually to be fair there's plenty of women out there that do like that sort of masculine earthy scent tea channeling it's supposed to be really good so i can't wait to try that and then finally last but not least my massage tools my nurse jamie uplift wand is somewhere here but i couldn't find that this is the tea my this is the company i spoke about before not sure but this is really good this is their jade roller i love 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 this um, definitely would recommend it. Um, it's a, this was I call it a jade roller. This is clear quartz, but it's fantastic. It's cool. Oh, it's been in the fridge and it's just so soothing and cooling, and will help with puffiness and just amazing. So check this out. That is it. This bed is a mess, <laughs> an absolute mess. I'm gonna have to go tidy all this up. But that is a full run through of everything I have in my skincare collection at the moment. Some stuff needs to go, some stuff needs to be repurchased, and I'm always changing it up. What do you think, guys? Have, has anyone out there and own up? Leave me a comment below. I've got more skincare than me i think i have a problem but i know there's probably going to be people out there that have even more than i do so let me know how many products you currently have in your skincare arsenal i counted this up and it must be over 100 plus there's a few things hanging around that i've lent to people and stuff over 100 that's too much i'm going to do an edit down and i'm going to get rid of some stuff i thought that was really cathartic i hope you enjoy this video i know it's a bit of a whistle stop but hopefully it's just a 
bit of fun, a bit of fluff for, you know, the weekend. And there's a lot of serious stuff going on in the world at the moment. So sometimes I like to just sit down, film and have a bit of fun with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well. Follow us on Instagram, Asking Mad, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.